Smarty. Hello, curious minds. It's your friend Smarty the Alpaca. And today we're exploring a question that's been on my mind. What's the difference between a llama and an alpaca? Now, you might be thinking, aren't llamas and alpacas the same thing? Well, buckle up, because we're about to uncover some fascinating differences. Let's get started. First difference, size. First up, let's talk about size. Alpacas like me are smaller and more compact. We're like the pocket-sized pals of the camel family. On the other hand, llamas are larger and have a more majestic presence. They're the giants of the camelid world. Ears. Next, let's take a look at our ears. Alpacas have smaller, pointier ears that stand up straight like little antennas. Meanwhile, llamas have longer, banana-shaped ears that flop to the sides. It's like having built-in earmuffs. Another big difference is our purpose. Alpacas are prized for our soft and luxurious fiber, which is used to make all sorts of cozy clothes and blankets. Llamas, on the other hand, are known for their strength and are often used as pack animals to carry heavy loads. Also, llamas and alpacas share a common ancestry and both originate from the Andes Mountains. You can meet us in Peru and Bolivia. Llamas originally hail from the lofty Andes Mountains of South America, where they've been trekking through rugged terrain for thousands of years. These hardy creatures were domesticated by ancient civilizations like the Incas for their strength and versatility. As for us alpacas, we also call the Andes home, but we prefer the high altitude grasslands and valleys where the air is crisp and cool. Alpacas were bred by indigenous cultures like the Incas for our soft and luxurious fiber, which has been prized for centuries. Oh, and both llamas and alpacas share a love for leafy greens. And there you have it, folks, the key differences between llamas and alpacas. From size and ears to purpose and personality, we may look similar from afar, but up close, we're as different as day and night. Thanks for joining me on this enlightening adventure, friends. I hope you've learned something new today. Stay curious, stay wild, and I'll see you next time for more alpaca antics and educational escapades. Smarty the Alpaca signing off.